We're over here on the beach of Positano and guys, just look how mesmerizing. Food, culture, natural beauty. This is the biggest false advertising I've ever seen. It looks so inviting. Don't do it guys. Is it overpriced? Of course, we're in Positano. So this is everything I wanted it to be and more. the end of the hike in Nocelle, but I want to check out the town of Platitano and daylight is limited and I'm sure we can also find somewhere with a great view there. So we're going to explore, see some mo, and then we're going to show you what's in stout. So what we did find is a little, I don't know if it's a kiosk or a little uh, stand right at the little plaza in the end of Nocelle before the stairs on the Positano. And we got a freshly squeezed orange and lemon slush with some lemon zest and an orange. Picked right off of the trees here on the Amalfi Coast, famous for its lemons and citrus. Good. You might have to go get another one. I haven't even tasted it yet and it smells more citrusy than anything I've ever smelled in my life. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's right. so good. No! <laughs> so we're gonna sip on this as we go down many, many stairs. The walk from Nocelle to Positano is 1,700 steps and takes about 45 minutes one way. Guys, all I have to say about this drink, Fena summed it up perfectly. It's the best thing she's ever put in her mouth. She's not wrong. So we've been gone down a few hundred stairs, probably have a few more thousand to go. No, I don't know. Maybe not a few more thousand, but quite a bit more. And we're graced with these amazing views of Positano. The colors are becoming much more clear as we get closer with the sun reflecting off of it. I'm really excited to get down there. So let's go guys. Can't wait to get down in the thick of things after a jaw dropping hike, honestly. Can't believe it. Let's go. I forgot to tell you guys, we booked a tour guide to meet us at the bottom of the stairs of Positano to show us the way, but. It's a little slow. <laughs> We've made it. Thanks, buddy. I'll pay you in catnip. All right, just it'll be an IOU one. Okay. Tell me why Hello. Why you've never said you felt that way. Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long. It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. God, this is such a pretty stairway though. This is what I pictured. This is exactly what I pictured when coming to the Malfi Coast. This is the biggest false advertising I've ever seen. Here we see the Path of God sign and some beautiful flowers. It looks so inviting. Don't do it guys. That's the pathway to death. This is the pathway to Hades. Your legs will literally be done. This little cute cat is one of his messengers. <laughs> Ultra alluring. We did it, everybody. We made it to the bottom of the stairs, finally. My legs are officially limoncello. It's a terrible pun. And we're gonna walk to Positano in the background. Maybe you can see it. Hopefully I don't get hit by a car crossing the street. Either way, vamanos. Positano. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay We've made it, Positano, Tita Romantica, Vanessa <laughs> She's a funny little silly girl She thought it meant romantic sight Shut up! It means romantic city, I thought it meant romantic sight She called me out on it As you should So this is everything I wanted it to be and more The view is a Positano Malfi Coast in the background. It's about 3.30, so over an hour until sunset. Perfect time to soak up the rest of the views. The glitz and glamour here, guys, is unreal. Look at this little rooftop, the beautiful ornate design, or look in the coastal brilliance of these buildings in Positano. It's exactly what you'd expect.
Look at that adorable little market, guys. You take the stairs up to get there. Walk us through little magical alleys here. So we're here at one of the most famous sites in Positano, which is the Chiesa di Santa Maria Assunta, which is just a Santa Maria church. There's some really interesting history about it if you're interested having to do with pirates and sort of wacky stuff. So this limoncello cocktail, as I'm getting these views of Positano through the glass, it's really good. It has the same taste as the one I had in Sorrento yesterday, but it's in a lighter form in this sort of carbonated cocktail. Really good and still has that um, alcoholic but sweet taste. Maybe the one yesterday was a little bit sweeter, but it's a nice cocktail to drink if you don't like something too sweet, but still fresh. All right, guys, we're over here on the beach of Positano and guys, just look how mesmerizing that village, city, whatever you want to call it. I'd say it's more of a village because it's pretty small and the sun is starting to set gradually. I grabbed a little uh, beer. Is it overpriced? Of course, we're in Positano, the Amalfi Coast, but it is an Amalfi Coast exclusive beer. So I had to try it after getting a limoncello. And let me tell you guys, these limoncello, limoncello, my point is being proven already, cocktails, are stronger than you could ever imagine. Maybe it's because I'm hiking on an almost empty stomach, but I got one for about $4. It was really delicious. It was almost like a spritz, but it was a big cocktail, carbonated. I'm sure I showed you footage already. And it was delicious, but definitely got me a little bit buzzed. So this beer is keeping me in that happy zone while taking in these magnificent views of the Amalfi Coast. While sun setting, while keeping that feeling. I'm loving Italy so much, guys. Southern Italy is the place to be. Food, culture, natural beauty. What else could you ask for? So make sure to come to the beach of Positano for sunset, guys. Absolutely unreal, as you can see. I mean, it's walked over some our hike, the uh, Path of the Gods, which we did to get here. Check that out if you haven't seen it already. Absolutely sensational place to watch the sunset. Perfect mixture of natural architecture, culture, and natural beauty. Can't ask for anything more, and there's lots of open space. So Vanessa and I, as you can see, have so much space to enjoy it. Don't even know what to focus our eyes on at this point, but hey, enjoy the beauty of Positano. Whether it's a busy, touristy time of year, or if it's just you and some friends enjoying some peacefulness here. It's still gorgeous, either way, I promise. Guys, even though the sunset is almost over, as you can see, so gorgeous. The water has that string curse. Don't want to get demonetized. We're walking back towards Positano, which looks gorgeous. Now that its sun is pretty much down, the colors are consistent with everything else around us, so it doesn't look like it's shaded or anything else. Stunning walk along the beach here. So we're walking through Positano, gonna catch a bus back to Sorrento to eventually get back to Napoli. Got some vanilla gelato. Vanessa has uh, limone. There's only two different kinds we could choose from. Both are delicious. What do you think, V? Really fresh, right? Super fresh. It is officially dark in Positano. You see all the lights on the hill over there. And it's time to begin the long trek back to Napoli, where we're staying for the month, of course, as Digital Nomads, that's our home base. A uh, great place with some fantastic food, wonderful culture and sights, a little bit more of a gritty, chaotic city, but easy access to beautiful places such as the Malfi Coast, Ischia, Capri, Rome, which we're gonna go to our last week here. So lots of great sites with the Napoli, great food, and also access to other flights, obviously. We're gonna hit the bus up, get some snacks, and hopefully maybe get some pizza, which in Napoli is like three euros for big ass pizza, whereas here it's about 10. Let's go. Only downs, the only downside is, got downside, okay. The only downside is, got, the only downside is, guys, I know I enunciated that really wordly, but that was take number three.